welcome everybody. I'm, I'm Johannes, uh, working for Postman at the moment, and when I'm not on stage at Moulin Rouge, which actually happened, I was randomly picked out of the audience. I'm uh, spending most of my time with um, developer platforms. So uh, first with SourceForge, hands up if you still remember SourceForge. Everybody does, cool. Then Garrett, then most of my time GitHub, and, and nowadays Postman, the GitHub for APIs. And during that time I was privileged to work with many, many different companies on um, collecting feedback on how to do inner source and open source. This is by no means any sales pitch, so don't be afraid, right? It's not about those unicorns and rainbows. It's really about um, open source um, open source comments, um, inner source comments, actually, and I still struggle a bit. Uh, well, what is inner source about? Well, it's basically applying the practices of open source for commercial software development. And why would you actually want to do that? Well, I don't have to preach to the choir, right? If I have to convince you about the benefits of open source, then it would be like telling you why water is liquid. But for those folks um, who, well, like in Rich Talk, wanted to know what uh, inner source is, is, is about, right? For companies, it's mostly about uh, having great recruitment abilities, help keep your developers happy, uh, ship faster to, to your markets, uh, have the same uh, shipping velocity that you have in distributed teams and have a high quality. And the question is, how can you achieve that as in an inner source project? The idea is to be as transparent as possible, uh, have, find all of your code or APIs immediately, have uh, also access to the issue trackers and find out where the roadmap is going, be able to collaborate and also accept contributions outside of your ordinary team, right? Including that with a CI and CD processes so that when you get a contribution, you already know it, it already satisfies a certain quality criteria before you actually have to spend time uh, investing into a human code review. The question now is, is there any difference when it comes to APIs and those inner source practices as opposed to code? Because most of those uh, challenges um, or, or findings also of inner source comments are specifically about source code. And uh, during those workshops, we figured out there's quite some differences, not, not too many, but one is about discoverability of APIs, like searching for them. For, uh, searching open API specification, for instance, is no fun. Uh, it's typically lots of lots of YAML code. And also, if there's any changes you want to propose, it's, it's difficult to find out what has actually changed. Like if you added some security protocol to it, it can easily be 2,000 lines of changes in, in, in your API specification. Nobody uh, wants to review that. Uh, everybody wants just to know whether this is breaking backward compatibility. Backward compatibility is really important. For, for APIs. Um, it's also important that you can actually test out APIs when you want to contribute to those projects. For most open source projects or inner source projects, if it's code, you can just start it up and, and play with it. For APIs, it's often just the contract. Uh, in many cases, you don't have access to the backend. So in this case, you would need a way to um, yeah, play around with it, get feedback. And then last but not least, one challenge is what actually does it mean to use an API? For source code, you can often just scan package dependencies. There's SBOMs as, as some uh, very uh, mature way of finding out what packages you depend upon. When it's about APIs, it could be just that you're calling a certain API and you won't find any import statement in your code. So uh, last challenge there is to keep things in sync. Uh, between uh, API uh, code specification and um, and the um, actual implementation. The good thing in my last minute is most of those technical problems have been solved, right? There's, there's tools like Optics, uh, um, GitHub, Postman, to, to, to work around all of those technical challenges, but the main challenges about inner source and APIs is still cultural things like like Rich mentioned, like uh, Wolfgang mentioned today. It's mostly about cultivating that pride, having uh, upper management understand that this is not just about Wild West and contributing to whatever you want, but actually helping uh, your companies as well. Um, it's a broad topic. What's in for you? I hope that uh, during the gathering, uh, afterwards the get-together, we can talk about the API specific, and thanks for your time. <laughs>